Hi everyone and welcome back to the Brick Bods. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You join me today for the second part of our Bricktastic walkthrough, trying to show you every single mock that was on show. And today we've got some footage from Ian because there was no way to get all of this footage if you were one person. We had to divide and conquer. So it might be a slightly different viewing angle. He tried to do it at my eye level just so it didn't look weird for me. But we're going to go and che check out the entrance way to Bricktastic before you even get into the main hall and have a look at the builds in there and then some more in the actual hall itself. So straight away when you came in there was this massive Bugatti Lego Technic but I think this is mainly system bricks in here actually because of the size and I don't recall seeing a sign of how many bricks are in here or anything but it did make some really fun noises the little buttons at the front you could make it go vroom 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 um, which the kids loved. Also giant frog wearing a cloak with a crown and a dragon. I mean, these builds are always fascinating to me, how you can build at such a scale. Put some boots there. And of course, the Little Mermaid. We had a good sing song when that one went past us. There was also a massive train layout outside and this bridge here was new for this show. Epic piece of work. And that's the thing with the train layouts, it's normally about the trains, but it's really nice to see actual scenery and stuff that's been made. Sometimes that can be a bit lacking, but they've gone all out on this bridge. It looks fantastic. You've got the Angel of the North there as well. And they change up the trains throughout the day. They put different trains on the tracks. These kids are crazy. Putting their fingers in the way wouldn't wouldn't advise that at all. They also have some roads going past, but I'm not entirely sure I'd want to drive on some of these roads because they just seem to fall off to nowhere. And I particularly like the brick henge they've done here. I think that's fantastic. There you go, there's another road that goes to nowhere. So Brick Alley had a mosaic gallery here. So you've got some greebling type ones, so that's stitched there. And I really do love a greebled mosaic. It just, it's they're fantastic. You get up close, you can see all sorts of parts. You've got Redbeard, this is Marge and uh, Homer's heads here. You've got the businessman. And then obviously Jack from Nightmare Before Christmas, that's another Greeble one. And the Raccoon Lady. That's the classic policeman. C3PO I think that is. And the Spaceman. Chicken looks really good and they've used like the egg splats quite a lot on there. I think that's fantastic. Ahsoka, the Guardsman. A bit of a frightened minifig there. Is that? Johnny Thunder, yeah, Johnny Thunder. And the Giraffe Lady. Not sure what that one is. But then you've got the, the Scientist, and that's Master Wu, and of course the Demi Gorgon from Stranger Things. They also had a brick pet out in the front, and those kids are super creative. Look at those things. Now this was a collaborative build that we actually took part in. So everyone was tasked with building like a small panel. You see how there's like little sections to these pictures. So we split up a piece of artwork into 16 sections, maybe a few more, I'm not sure. That's ours in the bottom right there. And you had to build what you'd been given. And I didn't even look at the reference picture, so I, I found it really hard to find the ones that we did. But there was different types. There was the ones where it was just sort of straight out mosaic, put them on a plate. 
our ones you had to sort of build them up into like a wall technique that was actually quite tricky and then there were also some greebled ones and again i love the greebled ones but what i found fantastic about this is when we were building it i was like this is not going to look any good at all but when you step back away from these pictures you know what picture that is like they have come out so well i do find the eye a little creepy on that one though but it just really worked a lot better than i was expecting it to I will do a video about our involvement in this project, like how we worked on it and the process behind it because it was our first collaborative build and we definitely learned some lessons from doing it. I just think the end result turned out a lot better than I was expecting. We were in this one as well, uh, bottom, no, top right, one down, one in. So they continued the giant displays in the hall, there was one by the mosaic, and this is the finished mosaic, it was not easy to capture from down on the floor. So other things we saw was a, a raft of 8080s. So the first one was the Fairy Bricks logo, then uh, a 8080 in sheep's clothing. I thought that was fantastic. This one was a projector, projecting, uh, I think it was Star Wars possibly, onto the, the screen, and those are all the people sort of watching the showing. This one, I'm, I think it's based on some sort of game, but those are some chunky legs on that 8080. Nice sort of botanical garden one here. Really nice insides. And then this one, you can't really tell what's different about this one from this side. So we'll have a look in more detail on the other side of that one. This one was like an octan uh, vehicle. And they'd actually put some little uh, land speeders in as well, but with the octan logo. Absolutely love the dinosaur with crazy shoes. Also the fact that it's piloted, uh, piloted by a dinosaur as well. Fantastic work. This one, I wish it had a more of a head. There's, there's a bit of a head missing. But the giraffe, I mean, was fantastic. Look at all the giraffes inside. There's a giraffe even driving it. It's just awesome. I, I absolutely love the giraffe. I, I got a bit high-pitched and excited when I was looking at that. And then Kazmokit's done the, the steampunk one. And just, this is the first time I'm doing steampunk. You cannot tell. It, just look at the detail on there. So this is the other side, so you can see why the other one looks different. So I'm just skimming past, but look, this is why. It's got the insides of an 8080, and in fact, those intestines, they're like strung on a piece of cotton, and apparently um, the more you thread on, the more it wears down the cotton, and then it just explodes and you get flowers everywhere. So they were worried that that would happen. Uh, the kids' creativity in the brick pit, I think this may have been an adult did it, but I thought this was a genuine display for a bit, and then I realised it was brick pit stuff. I'm liking the overturned boat, that sort of attention to detail here, there's a lot going on in this scene. Now this was a power miners display, I guessed incorrectly rock raiders, but um, it's all power miners, and I just love the little power, monst uh, power miners monsters. There is one element of rock raiders in here, though, and that's the sort of slimy looking chocolate dude up there. He's a rock raider. It's really nice to see sort of a homage to these uh, retired themes, and it just reminds people of, of the awesomeness that Lego has done in the past as well. Some more mosaics here so that's the james bond one then you've got sally and i can't remember the dog's name but 
from Night Before Christmas and again Griebling and these guys are fantastic at Griebling you really need to look at this one up close I mean look at how many things are hidden in there you could spend hours just looking at this beautiful castle here fantastic rock work and I really like the slope up into the castle This was Nicholas's, he was walking around with this helmet on his head and the, the sword and, the, and there was also a chain armour that he was wearing. And dragons. Don't we all love a dragon? So this one has got a lot of treasure going on. I tried not to get too close just in case he got upset with me. And I really love the, the colours on these ones. Especially the translucent details in that pink and purple one. Such beautiful details. Really, really stunning. We've got some classic space here, but rainbow fied. And again, we've got the Everyone is Awesome set, but spaced up. And these crowns, they are actually wearable, although possibly not so comfy. They just look fantastic. And then these guys, this is Stuart and Naomi, they had the idea to make a pool table because Lego released a pink ball, but there were still some colors missing. So they just decided to do it black and white. And you'll see it says there, for those of you watching in black and white, the pink is next to the green. That's just their humour, and it made me giggle. So this one, I assume, is based around the actual Lego set of Tower Bridge. I'm not 100% sure. But then they've Team GB fired it, so you've got all of the events, all of those Team GB minifigures as well in there. And a nice little mosaic as well. Fantastic work. This is Victoria. She has got a Belleville display and... Belleville supersized sort of figures, but work so well with all the sort of the prints that Lego do. And this diner just had, it just captured so much momentum in it, that waiter falling over, just such a busy diner. Fantastic work there. Absolutely love that one. We got some Millennium Falcons, steampunk, multicolored, rainbowy, shiny, and of course, Batman. And I love the fact that Robin's in the little pod on the side. Also, you, you can see how official LEGO sets sort of inspire people. They make the busts and then you just get all the characters and do them all. I love the R2-D2 one and also the pig dude. No idea what he's called, but I like that one. This is the Arch of Constantine. The light was not on my side when recording this, but great work here. I love sort of all the statues at the top and they also had a giant minifigure with kind of crazy eyes that was apparently Isadora Greek lady and then we've got Brickley Park I don't think they could cram much more into this park look how full it is look how colorful it is and oh, look, I love the little roses on the wall in the heart shape fantastic they've also got some pictures of their city as well I think we need to do that because no one knows what our city looks like Another cityscape here and some awesome Care Bears, love those. We've got a custom Lego store in the back corner there and in fact quite a lot of the buildings seem supersized Friends ones, which I like to see. These guys had um, some Modulex at their table, which was another type of brick that Lego did. There you go, slightly different scale, doesn't work with the system absolutely adore these elephants i feel like these are made out of the three-in-one creator viking ship uh, just because of the color palette here but so amazing S such detail as well in also the greenery uh, I, I thought it was stunning these guys were over from ireland and i'm not entirely sure what the building is but i love it especially the sort of the handcuff detail there and then the little flamingo park and then of course we've seen large scale jurassic park and tiny jurassic park in the last one and this is kind of somewhere in between but crammed full of dinosaurs i specifically like the one bursting through the fence with the goat in his mouth obviously and then a giant dinosaur there brick built lots of lego technic vehicles on show i always wonder how people put these together without like completely destroying their hands I just find techniques so painful to, to work in.
And you might think this is Star Wars, but it's Battlestar Galactica. I know that because I read the sign. Now this one, nice little city scape, but with so much movement in it. So and I, you've got the little uh, monorail at the top, I think it is. And you've got trams going as well. And I love a tram. I don't know why, but I, I, I just find them fun. You've got the helicopter spinning underground train going backwards and forth as well and he even thought hang on I can do one more and he powered up Iron Man look at him go Whee! love it so that's it for today I will be back with another installment from Brick Classic there's still so much footage to go through still so many walks I haven't shown you it was such a fantastic show so come back for that if you missed the previous installment, I'll link that up at the end. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss an update. See you later.